one of the most common things that I hear from people who have been thinking about buying a home right now is that they want to wait until interest rates go down. Now, I'm not here to convince anyone to buy a home if they don't want to, but when someone has already made that decision, I'm here to help. And I'd like to make sure everyone is making that decision from an informed perspective. If you've considered buying and have said you want to wait until rates go down, then this video is for you. Let's talk. I want to bring up a few points to consider when making your decision to buy now or wait for rates to go down. My first thought is, what if rates don't go down? None of us really know what the future holds. We can only speculate. What if this is the lowest rates will be for 20 years? You can always refinance, but you might lose out on the perfect home now by waiting for the unknown. It is still important to get into home ownership and you can refinance later if rates go down. Do you think it would be fair to say that if rates go down, that prices will likely go up like they have historically? If you buy now and rates do end up going down, you can refinance if you want to remain in that home and get a lower rate. Or you can sell the home in that seller's market where the value has likely increased due to the buyer demand from the lower rates. You'll then be faced with buying in that seller's market and that's a much different market than today. Let me explain. In a strong seller's market, there will be a lot of competition among buyers for homes that are for sale. So you could be viewing a home the morning it goes up for sale alongside a few other buyers and their agents. And by the next day or the next few hours, it could be under contract at an above asking sales price. If you happen to be the one who wins the bid for the home and have it under contract, it's very likely that the seller isn't paying any closing costs, won't make any repairs, and will provide no home warranty. Down the road during the time when you're under contract, if the home then doesn't appraise for the agreed on over asking price, that means that the lender will not lend more than the appraised value, and it's up to you to make up that difference by bringing cash to the closing. Currently, homes are sitting a little bit longer on the market, you might be able to negotiate the seller paying some or all of the closing costs, and you may be able to get a home warranty paid for by them. During the inspection period, it's likely the seller will be willing to negotiate and make some repairs if needed, instead of just saying next and moving on to one of the other offers that they had. Lower rates equals more demand, which equals home prices going up. Let alone the fact that we still don't have enough supply of homes for sale on the market, so home prices are not dropping right now. They're just not skyrocketing anymore. My next point is for anyone who is currently renting. If someone is renting, then all of the money paid to the landlord is spent money instead of invested money. When you buy a home, you're building equity. A portion of each monthly payment goes towards paying down the balance of your loan. And your equity is the difference between what is owed and what you can sell that house for. Over time, home values rise. They can go like this, up and down, some up and down, but over the larger picture, while they're going up and down, they're not going up and down just in a flat line. They're going up and down like this. So over time, they are going up. Chances are, if you're renting, you're already paying a mortgage, taxes, maintenance, and insurance. Plus, you're giving that homeowner, your landlord, some money in their pocket. My last point of discussion is asking yourself what rate you're waiting for and why it's important to you to get that rate. If you talk to a lender who approved you today and the monthly payment was affordable to you, would it make sense to you to buy right now? If you're already a homeowner and bought a home during the time of those historically low, likely never to be seen again rates, then it might make perfect sense for you not to buy a home now if the home and location are satisfactory, stay there as long as that home makes sense for you. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And be sure to check the description for useful links and downloads. While you're here, check out some of the other videos on this channel where you can find advice for home buyers and sellers, home tours, neighborhood tours, and market updates. All right, I'll see you in the next video.